Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you my snow day reading recommendations. So we actually had a bit of a snowstorm last night too. So I feel like this is perfect that I'm filming this now. But basically, these are books that I feel like are perfect to just kind of curl up on the couch reading with a fire and just kind of totally immersing yourself in this world. Some of these are do take place when it's cold outside. So I feel like it is like you can get you in that mindset and just makes you feel even even cozier um, so yeah without further ado let's get started so starting out I first have the girl in the ice by Robert Breisenda and this is the first book in the Erica Foster series and it is a crime series that follows a detective named Erica Foster in London and so this one revolves around a case that takes place where this daughter of a very affluent person um, has been found dead in the ice of a pond and it kind of goes off from there but it takes place right in peak like winter um it's cold there's ice storms there's snow everywhere and i feel like this is very like it's like the perfect book to read when it's like the weather reflects the one in here um so i feel i really like this one it's also very fast paced so it's you can totally like lose yourself in this book the chapters are very short so you can kind of it makes the book flow by really fastly and it jumps between the killer's perspective and then also Erica's as well so it kind of jumps around so it keeps you on your toes and like I said I really enjoyed this one so I cannot recommend this series enough so following the lines of kind of the girl and the ice I also have still life by Louise Penny and this is the first book in the inspector Gamache series but instead of taking place in London this takes place in Quebec during a snowstorm in a small town that's very kind of reminds me of stars hollow for whatever reason from Gil more girls but I really love this it takes place like that small town feeling with like the fires burning and just like cozy sweaters like I get that feeling from here even though this deals with a murder um I feel like it still like has that like Christmassy wintry feeling to it so although it has like the dark subject matter I feel like it totally can get you into that like cozy feeling like if you're wrapped up by the fire with like a cup of tea um, I feel like this would be the perfect book to read to kind of get you into that you know cozy feeling so this is a book that is very kind of gripping and it really sucks you in and also kind of deals with the cold weather as well in some parts and it is the huntress by Kate Quinn so this follows a woman who is known as a huntress who was a notorious Nazi who like randomly killed innocents and was very um, notorious but at the end of the war she was able to escape and has been missing ever since so it follows two people who are looking for this woman and then it also kind of across the ocean it deals with this young woman who or this young girl whose father is remarrying someone who and there's something off about her so it kind of deals with like this storyline that kind of jumps over the place but it also t follows this one woman who is looking for the huntress um who was part of the um like the Russian fighter pilots uh, so you can just imagine Russian like a Russian winter in here but this story although it deals with many storylines and it jumps around within the time period it's done seamlessly she's really good at integrating the different storylines and making them connect and it just totally sucks you in and this one is just the ending in here was insane like I said this one it was probably one of my favorite books of 2019 this author just did a stellar job and it's the perfect book to lose yourself in when there's not a lot you can do outside and you just want to feel cozy so this is like quintessential like this is like if you're looking for the book to read when it's cold and dark and just not nice outside i'd recommend this trilogy and it is the bear and the nightingale um, or the winter night trilogy by katherine arden and this is a book like this book in particular was a little bit of a slow burn for me i had a really hard time getting into it because a lot of it is just building up the world in here but um once you get past like the 100 page mark the story really takes off but it's based on russian folklore and that's what i love the best about this it was very different from what i traditionally read but but you can also like feel the cold Russian wilderness in here like you can feel that isolation that cold just throughout your whole body reading this and there's it's very atmospheric and you can totally just immerse yourself in this creepy like forest in Russia and it's dark and there is like this bear on the loose like it is totally like quintessential like 
like winter reading in my sense but this trilogy is really good it took me like I said a while to like kind of like the first little bit in here took me a while to immerse myself in but like once the plot actually picks up like this is probably one of my favorite uh, trilogies of all time it's just really well done and I cannot recommend this series enough especially when it is all cold outside and lastly this is a book that I feel like you can totally lose yourself in and just spend hours reading on the couch next to a fire and it is Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly and this is a book that I reread recently and I forgot how much I loved it it's just very immersive and there, the author has just a way of writing that makes you just totally immersed in this world but basically it takes place in World War II and follows three women's different storylines. We have Cassia who is a Polish native who ends up getting sent to Ravensbrück. We follow Herda who is one of the few female um, like doctors that did the experiment on women during Ravensbrück and then we also follow Caroline who is a socialite in New York and there's like although these stories may seem kind of like random they all integrate themselves in at one point or another so it's very interesting seeing their like their stories intertwine over the course of the war and afterwards it's very interesting and I thought it was very well done I for, for, like I was kicking myself when I was reading I'm like I forgot how book good this book was and I think you guys would really enjoy it as well a few of you is have actually like reached out to me and like oh like thank you for recommending this like um they've really enjoyed it as well so like I said this is just a good amazing book to really lose yourself in so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite books to read when it's snowing out and all of that fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys